big boy, the largest steam locomotive in the world, is making a stop at El Paso. Big Boy will actually be here through Halloween, but the last public viewing, maybe, took place Tuesday. So, paraphrasing the immortal question of Roy D. Mercer, just how big an old boy are you? Uh, big. Like 17 feet tall big. That is Minute Bowl standing on top of Minute Bowl standing on top of Vern Troyer. Oh, um, yeah, uh, let, let's reverse all of those. And remember that Vern Troyer is also dead, which he would definitely be if two minute bowls stood on his head. <laughs> Union Pacific has big boy touring the country to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Golden Spike, which only sounds like a casino, but is actually historically significant. The Golden Spike was a ceremony honoring the final bit of track being laid to unite the eastern part of the country with the west at Promontory Point, Utah. You know, we may take flying or even driving coast to coast for granted, but until 1869, the only way to do this was on the back of a horse or a wagon. Are we there yet? No, Zebediah. Just three more months to go, though. But I have to go to the outhouse. Okay, jump on down. But if you can't run back to the wagon faster than our oxen can walk, you're on your own. Mind the coyotes and snakes, boy. Not that 19th century train travel was that much better, I'm sure, but mere weeks to cross the country was certainly an improvement from months. By the time Big Boy came off the assembly line in 1941, roughly 1.3 minute bowls ago, he was the way to travel. What a marvel. As much horsepower as a modern diesel locomotive, but powered by steam, the engineering equivalent of having gas. The only difference being what would be attached and where to um, harness the unleashed energy. <sighs> anyway, Big Boy is also 18 minute bowls long, with a Vern Troyer or two thrown in. You can imagine the amount of coal it took to spark Big Boy up. <laughs> Teared. You can also imagine that it was a good idea Union Pacific converted Big Boy's fuel to oil when they rebuilt it. Otherwise, a trip through town would have folks thinking a Sarko was back in business. Back in the day, though, Big Boy needed 56,000 pounds of coal for a good run. That is like 280 minute bowls. Or 1,600 Vern Troyers. I'm Duke Keith. 